Imagine this. In the blink of an eye, multiple nuclear bombs detonate simultaneously across the globe. Cities vanish in a flash of light, shock waves rip through the earth, and a deadly fallout spreads across continents. What would happen next? How would the world change in those terrifying moments? And most importantly, could anyone survive? In today's video, we're diving deep into one of the most chilling what-if scenarios ever conceived. We'll explore the science behind nuclear explosions, the unimaginable destruction they bring, and what it would mean if several of these devastating weapons were unleashed at once. Could such an event really wipe out humanity? Or are there even more far-reaching consequences that we haven't considered? Stick around as we unravel the terrifying truth behind a multi-bomb apocalypse and discover just how close or far we might be from such a nightmarish reality. This is not just another doomsday scenario. This is the ultimate test of human survival. To understand the devastating potential of multiple nuclear bombs, let's first delve into the catastrophic effects of just one nuclear explosion. When a nuclear bomb detonates, it unleashes an immense amount of energy in a fraction of a second. The first effect is a blinding flash of light, brighter than the sun, which can cause immediate and permanent blindness to anyone looking directly at it from miles away. This flash is followed by an intense fireball that can reach temperatures of several million degrees Celsius at its core. Everything within a certain radius, often referred to as the ground zero, would be vaporized almost instantly buildings, vehicles, and people alike. Next comes the shockwave. The rapid expansion of the fireball generates a massive pressure wave that radiates outward from the explosion. This shockwave travels faster than the speed of sound, flattening buildings, shattering windows, and causing lethal injuries to anyone within a large radius. The force of this shockwave can be so strong that it can destroy structures miles away from the detonation site, depending on the bomb's yield. Following the shockwave is the thermal radiation, a pulse of intense heat that spreads outwards. This heat is capable of igniting fires over vast areas, causing firestorms that can merge into a single uncontrollable inferno. In the case of large cities, these fires can create their own weather systems, with powerful updrafts and winds that further fuel the destruction. Radiation is another deadly consequence. The initial blast releases both immediate and residual radiation, the immediate radiation is intense enough to kill anyone within a certain distance who wasn't already vaporized by the explosion or caught in the shockwave. Those further away might survive the blast, but they would be exposed to lethal doses of radiation, leading to acute radiation sickness. Symptoms of this sickness can appear within minutes to hours, including nausea, vomiting and severe burns, eventually leading to death within days or weeks if the dose is high enough. The residual radiation often called fallout, consists of radioactive particles that are lifted into the atmosphere by the explosion. These particles eventually settle back to the ground, contaminating everything they touch. Fallout can spread over hundreds or even thousands of miles, carried by wind patterns. Exposure to this fallout can cause long-term health problems, such as cancer, genetic mutations, and other chronic illnesses. The environment itself becomes hazardous, with the land, water and air poisoned by radioactive contamination for years or even decades, the social and economic impacts would also be immense. The destruction of infrastructure, loss of life and widespread panic could lead to the collapse of local governments and social order. Survivors would face a grim reality with limited access to medical care, food and clean water, all while dealing with the psychological trauma of witnessing such unprecedented destruction. In summary, the detonation of a single nuclear bomb would cause unimaginable devastation in just a few moments, affecting everything from the immediate physical environment to the long-term health and stability of the survivors and their society. Now let's imagine what would happen if multiple bombs were to go off simultaneously. Now imagine if several of these bombs were to go off at the same time. If nuclear bombs were detonated in different parts of the world simultaneously, each explosion would have a local impact similar to what we just described. However, the combined effects would be catastrophic on a global scale. First, let's consider the sheer destruction.
Entire regions could be wiped off the map, with cities and infrastructure reduced to rubble. The intense heat and fires would create firestorms, devastating everything in their path. The shockwaves would merge, potentially causing more widespread structural damage. But what about the radiation? With multiple bombs detonating at once, the amount of radioactive fallout would be much greater. This fallout could spread across the globe, carried by wind patterns leading to widespread contamination. This could cause a nuclear winter, where the soot and particles in the atmosphere block sunlight, leading to a dramatic drop in temperatures worldwide. The result? Global agriculture could collapse, leading to mass starvation and societal breakdown. Now the big question, would everyone die instantly? The answer is no, not everyone would die at the same time. The immediate fatalities would occur within the blast zones of each explosion, but the death toll would continue to rise due to radiation sickness, injuries, and the long-term effects of a nuclear winter. The impact would be staggered, with some regions suffering more immediate destruction, while others might face slower but equally deadly consequences from the fallout and environmental collapse. Let's put this into perspective. As of now, there are an estimated 15,000 nuclear warheads in existence, most of which are held by just a few countries. The United States and Russia possess the majority, with roughly 5,000 to 6,000 each. Other countries like China, France and the United Kingdom have smaller arsenals, ranging from 200 to 300 warheads. Nations like India, Pakistan, Israel and North Korea also have nuclear weapons, though in much smaller quantities. If even a fraction of these warheads were to be used simultaneously, the consequences would be beyond devastating. The sheer number of bombs, combined with their destructive power, means that the world could face an unprecedented catastrophe. So how likely is it that multiple nuclear bombs would detonate at the same time? Fortunately, this scenario remains highly unlikely. Nuclear weapons are under strict control, with numerous safeguards to prevent accidental or unauthorized launches. The doctrine of mutually assured destruction, MAD, has also played a role in deterring the use of nuclear weapons, as any nuclear strike would likely result in a retaliatory strike, leading to total annihilation. However, the risk isn't zero. Tensions between nuclear-armed states, potential conflicts and the threat of terrorism all pose risks. The international community continues to work towards non-proliferation and disarmament, but the threat will remain as long as these weapons exist. In conclusion, the simultaneous detonation of multiple nuclear bombs would result in a level of destruction and suffering that is almost impossible to comprehend. While the likelihood of such an event remains low, the existence of thousands of nuclear weapons around the world is a stark reminder of the potential dangers we face. Let's hope that such a scenario remains confined to the realm of imagination and never becomes a reality. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more deep dives into complex topics.